Hey, what's up? It's Meezy coming at you live. I'm wearing a shirt that I made. Do y'all like it? Because I was thinking about giving it giving it out to the girls. It says I'm a tech girl. I do tech shit, you know? Um, let, me, let me know in the comments if you like that. But it's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to tell y'all about my Python relearning journey that I'm going on. Uh, just some backstory. Okay, wait. <laughs> I like always get so excited and get ahead of myself. Okay. Okay. The purpose of the video is for me to tell you about the Python relearning journey I'm going on, give you some tips on how to like learn a new programming language. I think I'm just going to make this video specifically about Python and you know, invite you to learn with me whether you're relearning or you're learning for the first time. All right, so now we got the shirt. I, I love this shirt, y'all. I'm very proud of this shirt. Uh, we got the shirt covered. We got the what's happening in this video covered. Let me tell you why I'm even relearning Python. All right, so right now, the work that I do is around Microsoft business apps. Um, and it's one that y'all wouldn't really use. It's Dynamics 365 and then like, Sometimes I'll have to use other Microsoft apps to complete the work, but for the most part, I stay in Dynamics 365. These are things that literally like huge businesses use. Um, and I do work around that. So right now I don't, one, I don't use a specific uh, programming language. Two, I definitely don't use Python. Three, I really want to move into being a machine learning engineer or a data scientist or an AI engineer. Um, and they all kind of go hand in hand and one thing they all have in common is that you need to know Python um, to be able to do a lot of work in those in those areas. So, all that being said, I'm starting with step one and I am relearning Python so that I can then start learning like data science stuff and machine learning algorithms, you know, whole nine yards. Um, and so that is what inspired this whole thing. So, uh, step one of, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all how I decided which resources I was going to use, then I'll tell you where the resources are, and then we'll get started. And I'll tell you how I'm going to use them. So, one, how I decided, I was, I was kind of in a state of analysis paralysis, where for like two weeks, I was just searching. I was like, okay, what are the best Python courses to take? Like, I don't know, which one's the best? Like, okay, should I buy this book? Should I take this course? Oh, but this person said this course was good. I had to cut it, because at some point I realized I was just using that to procrastinate. Like, it felt like I was still doing work because I was thinking about it, but in reality, not a damn thing was getting done. So I was like, okay, you know what? I've Let's do one more, one more time of searching. And so when I search for something, I go kind of deep. So I pulled up like 10 different articles that had lists of good Python resources. And then I looked through people's tweets and, you know, I went on dev.2 and looked up uh, articles there as well. And I picked the course that got brought up multiple times that seemed okay with me. And that course is called Python, Bootcamp, Zero to Hero, I don't know. I'll put it in the description and maybe on the screen, I'll put a screenshot. Um, so I went that bootcamp and then I wanted like a, a hard copy of a book resource that I could just, you know, use as a reference, you know, if I'm looking up syntax or like special error messages, whatever. And uh, I, <laughs> I went with a book that's not exactly that. It's called Learn Python the Hard Way. It was recommended many, many times along with a Python crash course. Both of them are meant for you to learn Python and they're both project based and you can access Learn Python the Hard Way for free on the Learn, learn Code the Hard Way website. And so I ended up going with that one instead of the other one because I want to save some money. I put that in quotes because yeah, I'm just spending a lot of money on things right now. And so to save $20 is kind of laughable, but you got to save where you can. All right. So the two resources that I'm using are the Udemy course that you can learn Python from, the, 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 the Python Bootcamp Zero to Hero. Yeah, that super long name. And then I'm also using uh, Learn Python the Hard Way. Um, and for these two resources, I've created a document that has a whole calendar. I posted it on my blog on dev.2, will be linked in the description. It has, uh, you know, 
it, it's listed by days instead of an actual date i just did day one to day 30 because if you are watching this video after i start i still want you to be able to like keep up and you know be a part of this journey as well um and so it's all listed out it has the exercises that i plan to do uh from each of those resources now i plan to spend two hours at least two hours per day on this i two hours a day actively learning and then one hour a day like recalling what i did before so in total it'll be like three hours that is a lot of time a lot of time but i got stuff to do i got stuff i want to do i got places i want to be and people i want to see so in order to get everything done i need to do this and i need to go hard on it i need to submerge myself you know i gotta be the marble i gotta date the marble i gotta lick the marble like i gotta get it done so that's why i'm giving myself 30 days and doing about three hours a day for 30 days and this timeline is going to be pretty extreme if this is your first time getting into python so feel free to stretch it out just use mine as a baseline oh okay and so i'm using two resources and both of them have exercises you can do learn python the hard way is 100 percent project based and then the Python 3 course, from what I've seen, is kind of like a lot of learning and then you do some exercises, some learning, some exercises. It has a midway level project and then it has a capstone project. So the way that I'm using both of these courses is kind of like just to go hand in hand, right? I'm not brand new to the language. It's just been literally five years since I've had to do anything with it. So um, it's like if I am reading Learn Python the hard way and I'm like, all right, I don't know if I totally grasped that concept then hopefully the Udemy course will complement it well and I'm like okay perfect got it no issue um and vice versa and I'm not gonna be too hung up on like checking every box on the Udemy course or checking every box on the um on the learn python the hard way uh, book it's just like trying to fill in gaps and get a good understanding of python I'm not trying to become an expert in python in 30 days i don't think that's really possible even if you spent you know all 24 hours a day uh doing it but i am trying to learn enough so that i can move to the next step and a big part of that is like i'm not going to be a python expert in 30 days but i will be better at python to know what to search for when i'm stuck a lot of developers make the joke that like most of my job is just googling stuff and like i i don't subscribe to that baby i'd be over here working i'd be putting it in work okay but also like i understand what people are saying when they make the joke because a lot of times you'll get stuck and you'll have to look up an answer but the way that you google stuff when you have no idea what's going on versus the way that you google stuff when you know what's going on and you like know what you're looking for it's totally different you know the keywords are different the search phrases are different it sounds kind of silly when I talk about it like this, but I think I will make a video showing y'all. Um, and this this class will be a great opportunity uh, for me to show y'all like advanced Googling techniques and how to get the answers you want really fast. In general, I'm just trying to get a grasp on Python, get enough to learn and to move into, you know, all these data science things. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna work work fail fast, work hard. I don't know what the the saying is but basically if I can like speed through this and like catch my failures here and there it'll be better in the long run than like trying to go slow and like gradually finding out you know that I have issues down the road yeah harder better faster stronger all right I'm just a little intense I'm a little intense and so I'm gonna live an intense life and I'm inviting y'all to be intense with me all right we might cry we might sweat but we will make it through uh what else is good for y'all to know oh i am going to try out creating a community for this um it'll probably be a discord that's what the kids are using so i'll create a discord and we can all be in the group together um if you cannot commit right now to like starting the starting the the program and you know going through 30 days uh, no problem. I'm gonna document the journey as I go along. So I plan on like doing live streams for some days when I'm working on things um, And then also just making videos updated at least once a week what's going on what I've learned and What I haven't learned and how I've learned how to learn all that kind of stuff um, 
I want to say that's it that y'all need to know. Links to everything will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, subscribe, uh, and we're going to get through this together, y'all. See you in the next one. Bye.